Hey guys, what's going on? This is That Windows Dev with BitesizeTech.net, and today's video is about why it's so hard to get a job in the tech industry. All right, so I know a lot of us have dreams and goals, and a lot of our dreams and goals have something to do with technology. Just like I have, I'm sure you're wondering how to get a job as a programmer, a game developer, or anything else in the industry. Well, let me be the first to tell you that it's not going to be easy. I'm sure a lot of you probably saw a Facebook ad or something on the internet that left you excited about a job, and that's perfectly fine, but you have to ask yourself, what do I actually have to do in order to secure my dream job? Let me tell you about a conversation I had with Sabu from Lulsec. At one point in my life, before I started working on my own projects, I asked him how he scored so many top paying jobs. At first I thought it was because he was famous for hacking, which is usually the case, but he shed some light on the situation and told me that it's not always about the companies and that it's more about you. When I say it's more about you, that means it's more about you, your experience, the people you know, and how well you network. It's all about what you can do to prove yourself. People don't understand that it's rare for major companies to hire someone new. Most people who go to college for game design or programming don't even get jobs as fast as they want to. The reason why major companies don't want to hire new people is because new people are considered as liabilities in the industry. If you had a multi-million dollar game franchise and was looking for new people to hire, you're not going to pick the person that's fresh out of college with no actual experience aside from school. In order for you to actually secure a job in the industry or create your own job, you need experience. If you want to work for somebody like Activision or Bethesda, then before you go to them, you're going to need some type of experience and there's no better experience than making your own product. The bottom line is, you're less likely to get a job in the tech industry if you don't actually have anything that represents your work and how successful your work is. Major companies want senior developers and people with extensive knowledge of the job they're applying for. Nine times out of ten, you're more likely to get hired if you have some type of reputation or work that represents you. If you don't completely agree with me and think there's other ways to score a good job in the tech industry, be sure to leave your opinions in the comments. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe, guys. This is That Windows Dev with BitesizeTech.net, and thanks for watching.